Hi, beauty lovers. This is a girl, Serena. Welcome to my workstation. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> Just you guys are doing very well today. We'll be making something very, very super interesting. We're making toning black soap. This is a lovely black soap. This is a soap I really just want to share with you guys. I actually had a full bowl of this soap that I made. It's a, it's a Beldy soap. I made the base myself. And in this base, I have my homogeneous herbs and plants in it. And if you guys want to know how I made this Beldy soap paste, you can just um, request under my description box. If I get so many requests, then trust me. I'll put up the video on how you can make your own soap paste yourself then you don't have to worry on how to get black soap each time you want to make your black soap now this soap is a toning black soap like I said and it helps to brighten and even out the skin tone if you're looking out for a lightening soap this would not do that for you this will not lighten you but this will you know gradually clear off any kind of blemishes you have on your skin and you know help to condition and nourish your skin this soap is I don't like to talk too much <laughs> it's something everybody wants to try be it a light skin person dark skin person it's it's soap for all honestly trust me i'll be walking you guys through what i have laid out all in this um measuring platters and you want to watch this video to the end because somewhere in this video i'll be dropping the whole recipe and I'll be walking you guys through all the functions of this. I decided to carefully choose my herbs. This is my balsam herb here, which is my lavender. So what I did was to get my lavender balls and I blended it out. So what I did with this soap was after I made it, I kept it for the, for the next three days to make sure that all these herbs infused properly before the customer gets to use it okay the person getting the soap actually has gotten th two cups and this is a third cup going to the customer and i'm so loving her skin so i decided to share this with you guys i wish they could just give me the opportunity to upload their pictures for you guys to see how wonderful this soap is in this speaker here i have my atmospheric um, surfactant that i'll be adding to the primary surfactant which is our black soap so what this um atmospheric surfactant does to the primary one is to help to reduce any form of harshness you know black soap tends to be very alkaline in nature but this black soap it's not harsh because it's made with potassium hydroxide so like i said if you want to see how i made it you just request under my description box and i'll show you guys in that beaker that i'm pointing or the platter is my rice powder rice powder it's very rich in para benzoic acid that helps to not only does it exfoliate the skin it suits and suits and protects the skin and as well promotes cell um, regeneration that makes it a very great anti-aging and inflammatory you know um, powder that you can use in your black soap okay i what i did was just to incorporate all the powders one after the other now there is no particular order for you to incorporate your powders um, into this soap i just um, decided to go in one after the other and um, incorporated it in and in, in the soap so this soap is rich with um anti-aging and uh, and anti-inflammatory pardon me i just <laughs> pardon me guys anti-inflammatory and also um has emollient and conditioning property like i said um the rice powder here would it's most of you guys don't know that rice powder it's it has a very high level of alanchone yeah alanchone helps to suit the skin should you not know about this then you know today so in this um soap we also have our bearberry bearberry it's a very good um, powder that helps to you know condition the skin and also help to you know heal the skin and clear um good um good number of you know blemishes that might you might have on your skin i went in with my 
mucinous powder there which is my aloe vera aloe vera also it's um, an anti-aging powder that helps to you know rejuvenate and revitalize the skin in this recipe we also incorporated um, some emollient powder that helps to condition the skin so when you're making your black soap it's important for you to choose your herbs you know properly especially when you're dealing with probably aged skin or skin that has gone through some chemical damage and all that so in here i'm incorporating my emollient powder which is my licorice or my licorice root powder you know whatever you choose to call it and the next powder that went in there was my neem which serves as an, an antiseptic powder and the one that goes in right now is my sandalwood which is um, an herb that falls under an emollient herb and the the reddish powder that you see it's my calm wood and the last one i'm going in with right now is the balsam powder which is my lavender so i went in with my uh, my humectant, which is my honey and um, gave this soap a very good mix i just incorporated all the powders in there now this soap when you're making your soap or your your lotions or your cream or even your oils it's important that you you know put in some herbs herbs have a whole number of benefits or goodies that it do to the skin someday i'm going to be doing probably a tutorial on how to select herbs in making your soap so look at the viscosity that's given to us but i really found this pretty too thick and that's the reason why i've measured out my atmospheric surfactant that will you know give it some luscious viscosity that i like you know make it look so fluffy now choosing your herbs and plants it's important you know try as much as possible to check out know the skin that you're working with first it's important and choosing your herbs to incorporate in your formulas it's also something that is very paramount that you do let me know if you learned anything from this video try out this soap and let me know what you feel about it this is a super tony and in fact it's an anti if, if you're looking for an anti-aging soap this is what you want to give out to your customer trust me guys if you've been watching this video up to this moment and you've yet to subscribe to my channel please just hit on that subscribe button and hit on the notification bell beside it to get notified each time i upload a new video if you enjoyed it like and share this video until i come your way again i remain your favorable girls arena treat and pamper your skin because that's the only cloth you have to wear for the rest of your life from here to you i love you guys Mwah.